Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to be painting a semi-abstract um, wet in wet painting of the Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis. Um, and I'm going to be using Indian inks for this. My Jackson's own brand black Indian ink and then Dr. P.H. Martin's um, Bombay inks in green and grass green. So first of all, it's an experiment. So I'm using the back of an old painting um, and then there's no risk if it all goes wrong. It's taped to my board with decorator's masking tape. My board's at an angle of about 45 degrees. This sort of process is quite messy. So put down plenty of newspaper and especially on the floor because as you tip and tilt, um, this ink can run and make a mess and it's permanent and will stain things. Um, now I'm going to be painting this painting upside down to start with. I'm painting the sky. I want it to be a night sky with a beautiful glow of the northern lights coming through if possible. So I'm going to paint from about a third of the way down from the top um, with water across all the way down to the bottom so it's nice and wet. And then using these little ink droppers on the top of the Dr. Martin's inks, I'm going to dot in and allow to run. Um, this is grass green and then there's ordinary um, green that I shall mix in with it. Just allow these to run down the page using gravity as the board's at about 45 degrees. And then taking my um, flat brush, flat harky brush made of bamboo from AliExpress, I'm afraid I don't have the link, um, I'm dropping in lots and lots of black Indian ink. It doesn't run as much or diffuse as much as watercolour, but still can behave in pretty much the same way. Um, I'm trying to keep my areas of green um, sort of distinct from the black. And now I'm using a mister spray to carefully add more water um, to the ink in order to get it to flow. I just need a bit more water and I can start to see it flowing a bit more. So now I'm going to tip and tilt my board. This is where the ink is going to run off my board and onto the table and potentially onto the floor. So I'm making sure that I've got nothing um, that could get damaged around in my studio. A bit more of a water spray and I think you can now see that the the inks are starting to sort of flow into each other but still remaining nice and distinct. A little bit more green there I think. Um, just allow everything to sort of run down the page and then as soon as I think it's looking okay then I will turn the board around and flatten it and clean off any sort of big drips around the edge so I don't get any runbacks. Now this is flat on my art desk. I'm using the tips of this uh, large sort of flat harky brush. I'm now going to quickly run in a sort of distant tree line and then block in the silhouetted ground um, above which my northern lights will shine. Just a few more little marks for distant trees. That will do and I shall now leave it to dry completely. Right, it's completely dry and it's a lot brighter than this in real life. Um, it's a sunny day today, it's a lovely day, uh, but the sun's coming in through the window in my studio and bleaching these colours out a bit. I will try and show um, how the colours look at the end um, in a slightly better light. So now I'm just going to finish the painting off with a few very simple silhouetted trees. I'm very pleased with the way the wet in wet um, ink painting of the sky has worked. I think that the colours are really nice for um, trying to show the northern lights against the night sky.
This is a number one rigger. Um, it was a gift and the make has rubbed off of it. So I've got no idea what brand it is, but it's a nice fine um, rigger and I'm using it to create these very simple stylized skeleton trees because I think that they will look quite pretty against the northern lights. I do like these um, Dr. P. H. Martin inks. Um, when I work with watercolour, I tend to like um, quite muted, earthy colours. But there's something about these bold, vivid, bright colours that's very appealing with the inks. Um, they've got a lovely sort of bright and luminous transparency to them as well. Um, and they work especially well against the dark black ink here, giving it quite a sort of a um, sort of a very modern sort of graphic look. I think I just need one more little tree over here, maybe a few sticks and twigs, a few details, but I'm going to keep this very, very simple. I think you could also use this method for sunsets, sunrises, and all kinds of sort of abstract or semi-abstract ideas um, that involve the flow and the play of colours um, in this kind of very free and loose way. You could do underwater scenes, backgrounds for any kind of uh, painting really. As I often say, I mean the only limit really is, is your imagination um, when you're experimenting. Just a few branches in some of the trees that I created with the wet in wet um, initial wash. Not too much. I think I'll just dab that out a little bit. Went a bit blobby. And I'm going to leave it at that and have a look and see how it looks with a clean white border, which can usually make quite a difference. It gives it the look of being framed. I'll see if I can um, adjust it and get it into some proper light now so that you can see how the colours really look. And here we are. Um, this is much more, it's more or less exactly as it looks in real life with these beautiful vivid colours and the gradations in the black ink that's very dark in places and diffused out to slightly paler in others. And if I zoom the camera in um, a little bit closer, we can see how soft and gentle those transitions are that were caused by the wet in wet um, flow of the ink. Um, and I think it really does evoke that beautiful and mysterious look of the northern lights. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, please um, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, and click on the bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I release a new video. Um, and especially if you enjoy sort of loose watercolour painting and all kinds of other sort of experimental uh, paintings as well as I explore the wonderful world of watercolour painting. And thanks so much to my lovely Patreon group who support this channel. I'll see you again soon and happy painting. Bye.